hydrate needs energy. To lift your arm, you need energy. To blink an eye, you need energy. So we need carbohydrate every day for energy. Now we have three primary macronutrients. We've got protein, we've got um, carbohydrate, and we've got essential oils. All of them have different purposes in the body, all essential purposes. So we really need a balance of those. What carbohydrate does is it gives your body immediate energy. And it also fuels the brain. Your brain needs carbohydrate to function. It carries the vitamins and minerals, the fiber, the phytochemicals through your body to preserve your health. And remember we mentioned earlier that mid-body fat is, has a strong link to our five major health problems. Heart disease, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, uh, cancer, and osteoporosis even. The other main link to these five main health problems in America is inadequate, uh, unprocessed carbohydrate foods, like the vegetables, like the whole fruits, like the whole grains, like the beans, like the milk, like the yogurt. Those are the foods that actually have protective factors within them that protect you from all five of those health concerns. So if you go on one of these high protein, very low carbohydrate diets, Ironically, you may be actually restricting the very foods that are protecting your body from the main health concerns in America. Now, protein has an important purpose, too. Protein builds tissues. It helps with organ regeneration. It's um, necessary for enzymes and chemical reactions. So it's very important in the body. We need it. You find it in fish. You find it in lean beef and pork. You find it in chicken and cottage cheese and eggs. And uh, you also find it in milk, yogurt, and beans. They have both carbohydrate and they have protein. Then the third one is our essential oils. Essen they used to call it fat. Now we're looking closer at essential oils. And the reason why that is is most of the healthier fats are actually in an oil base. They're a plant source. And what these do is they help build cell membranes. They um, manufacture hormones. They also carry transport fat-soluble vitamins, the A, the D, the E, the K, all around your body so it can do its purpose in the body. If you have a deficiency in your essential oils, you will end up with a deficiency in one of your fat-soluble vitamins or all of your fat-soluble vitamins, and it will affect your health. Whether that's understood or recognized or not, it's going to affect your health. The foods that contain these are your nuts, your oils, your seeds, avocado, uh, and also olives. The kind of oil that's in these foods actually lowers your cholesterol. See, fats are very different. They all do different things in your body. It lowers cholesterol, it lowers your LDLs, has an anti-inflammatory effect, many of them, which is very protective for the heart. And there are also many of them very high in vitamin E, which protects the heart. Now, on the other hand, you've got your solid fats. Let's say cream cheese and sour cream and butter and all the other animal fats. This kind of fat contains the saturated fat. This is the kind of fat that if you take in in excess, it can actually be a detriment to your health. This is the kind of fat that pushes up cholesterol, increases inflammation in the body, and is not good for your heart. Now, earlier I said carbs are good, and we want to incorporate them in the balance. But there's a little caveat here. Um, although carbohydrates in the unprocessed state are very good for you and they're essential to your health, when they're processed, when they're very processed, that's when they become a problem to your weight management. That's where it gets kind of tricky because what happens is when they process a carbohydrate type food, they pull out all the fiber, they pull out most of the nutrients, and you end up with foods like white bread like pasta, like bagels, like cake, like donuts, like cookies, like sodas, like juice, like a lot of the canned fruits and vegetables. Those are processed carbohydrates. Now, when you eat a processed carbohydrate, that they have actually taken out almost everything that triggers satiety in your body. What satiety is is a state of fullness from food. They've removed everything that helps your body recognize you've eaten enough. That's why you can end up eating a whole half a bag of cookies or a half a bag of chips 